بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Hydrodynamics Chapter 4 Second Secondary Chapter 4 is talking about hydrodynamics, fluid dynamics, which deal with fluids in motion. The word fluids means liquid or gas. This is the word fluid. Okay, now we must distinguish between two types of fluid in motion. We will study the motion of the fluid, liquid or gases. The first type, which is called steady flow, the second type, which is called turbulent flow. Turbulent flow, it is the flow when the speed of fluid exceeds a certain limit. High speed. Look at the liquids in, uh, in front of you. Now, you can notice the high speed of motion of the liquid here. And characterized by existence of vortices, small eddy currents. Vortices, dawamet, small eddy currents, this is called eddy currents, this is called eddy currents, the motion in circles or in circular passes, it is called eddy currents. The same thing, the same turbulent flow, happens to gases as a result of diffusion from a small space to large space or from high pressure to low pressure like these gases for a small area to large area outside this is called turbulent flow the second type steady flow laminar flow streamline flow it is a flow of fluids in low speed low speed such uh, its adjacent layers slide smoothly with respect to each other Try to understand with me now. If I have a liquid consists of layers by this way, if they let to move, you can notice that there is no force of friction exists between layers. Here, no force of friction, so they can slide easily with respect to each other. بالعربي تماما كلمة adjacent layers اللي هي layers اللي فوق بعضيها adjacent touch each other. Slide smoothly so you can move one of them outside by this way, and the friction between the each uh, layer and the other layer looks like zero. This is called the slide smoothly. No friction force exists between the layers. ممكن أسحبها بسهولة كده وكأن في oil أو في grease مثلاً اللي هو الشحم أو حاجة فتبقى حاجة نعمل هاي. In this type of flow, particles of the liquid follow continuous paths called the streamline. This lines are called the streamlines. From these lines, we can draw this. They are imagined lines, but we can know from these lines the speed of the molecules, the direction of the molecules, the speed of the uh, fluid in this uh, area or in this point. This is called the streamline. We will study the streamlines. Look at this movement. Streamline, imaginary lines. Streamline, it is a, it is an imaginary line represent the passage of any part of the fluid during its steady flow inside the tube. Important properties of streamlines. We have four properties. Number one, this is the streamlines. They are imaginary lines that don't intersect as they parallel to each other. Next one, the tangent at any point gives a direction of instantaneous velocity at that point. This is the direction of the velocity here. Also, I can draw tangent here to molecule. This is an instantaneous velocity and so on. This is called the tangent at any point gives a direction of instantaneous velocity at that point. Number three, the number of streamlines doesn't change as the area changes very very important part while the streamlines density at a point changes as the area changes and expresses the flow velocity of the liquid at that point look at here this the area changes from 
large area to small area. Look at the number of streamline. The number of streamline doesn't change, doesn't change. But the density changes. Look at the density here. This is the density. Take some, take the same area, same area, this area, and the same area. We have three streamlines in this area. Look at here. We have five streamlines. Density increases. Return it back. Well, the streamline density at a point changes as the area changes. As the area decreases, the density increases. And expresses the flow velocity of the liquid at that point. Number four, the streamlines will be drawn closer together at high velocity, density increases, and far apart at low velocity. This means that here, low velocity, in the other part, we have high velocity as the density increases. Okay, what is density of streamlines at a, at a point? It is a number of streamlines crossing perpendicularly a unit area at that point. Note, the speed of the fluid at any point inside the tube is directly proportional to the density of streamlines at that point. Conditions of a steady flow to make a steady flow movement of a liquid inside a tube like this, the liquid should fill the tube completely. The first thing, the liquid should fill the tube completely. The speed of the liquid at a certain point in the tube is constant and doesn't change as the time passes. At t equals 1 second, at t equals 3 seconds. The speed is constant, so v1 equals to v Two. The speed doesn't change as time, so it doesn't depend on time. The flow is irrotational. There is no vertex motion. Number four, there is no force or forces of fraction exist between layers of the liquid. The flow is non-viscous, non-viscous. Look at here. This is the flow, non-viscous. Can move easily. The layers can move easily. Number five. The amount of the liquid entering the tube equals that emerging out of it in the same period of time because the liquid is incompressible. Incompressible. على فكرة ده نقدر نشوفه فين بعض الناس مثلا ممكن تجيب أو حضرتك تعملها في البيت بتجيب زي خرطوم كده ولا حاجة وبتجيب مثلا ليكويد تحطه هنا ده ليكويد وبعدين هتجيب خرطوم اهو وتبتدي تشفط من هنا فالليكويد هيطلع معاك كده شوت فيل ذا تشوب كومبليتلي اول ما تشفط هتلاقي لوحده كده على طول الليكويد ابتدى يتنقل للناحيه الثانيه هنا فخلاص كده انت نقلته ده اسمه ستيدي فلو هتلاقي ان السبيد بتبقى ثابته طول ما انت ماشي هنا السبيد بتاعتك ما بتتغيرش مع التايم الامونت اوف ذا ليكويد انترنج ذا تشوب هتبقى ايكوال the amount of liquid come out from the tube. Flow rate. Another part from this lesson, which is called the flow rate. Flow rate, it is a quantity of liquid flowing through a certain cross-section area of the tube in one second. I search for the amount of the liquid coming out from a cross-section area of the tube in one time. flow rate qv it is the volume of the fluid flowing through a certain area per unit time if this is a tube and the volume of the fluid come out from a certain area this area bear one second which means unit time qv equals volume over time or equals area times velocity from what this rule is come area times the velocity this is the volume of this tube equals area by length this area times the length okay what about qv qv equals the volume over time volume means the area times the length over time length over times 
equals velocity. So QV equals AV. This is about the QV. What is the measuring unit of QV? QV is measured by unit, which is meter cube per second. Next one, mass flow rate, QM. It is a mass of the fluid flowing through a certain area per unit time. QM equals mass over time or equal rho density multiplied by QV or density multiplied by AV. The measuring unit of QM is kilogram per second. Proof. If we have a tube with a different cross-sectional area, look at the cross-section area here and the cross-sectional area here. Look at this amount of the liquid and what happens to this amount of the liquid or the quantity of the liquid when passing through the small area. Qm equal rho multiply Qv or rho times Av. Since the rate of mass flow is constant in a steady flow, therefore, Qm1, amount of the liquid entering the tube, equal Qm2, amount of the liquid flowing out of the tube. Qm1 equal rho multiplied by Qv1, Qm2 rho multiplied by Qv2. Density is constant, we can cancel rho with rho. So Qv1 equal A1 V1, Qv2 equal A2 V2. This rule A1 V1 equals A2 V2, this is the rule of solving problems. Also I can say that V1 over V2 equals area 2 over area 1. And this is means that the relation between velocity or the speed of the liquid flowing through come out from the tube or from a given cross-section area is inversely proportional to the cross-section area. The speed inversely proportional to the cross-sectional area. بالعربي تماما يعني كل ما انت الاريا بتقل زي ما الاريا قلت هنا يبقى السبيد هتزيد تعال نكمل كده ونقول لحضرتك the liquid will flow very slowly when the cross section area is large and quickly if it is small note in case of branches in case of branches this cross section area total cross-sectional area, I can say that area total times V total here, A total times V total equals A1 V1 plus A2 V2 plus A3 V3. QV here, QV at this, at this area equal QV here plus QV in the second one and QV in the third cross-sectional area. This is about the branches. When they are equal branches, like this, look at here, equal branches. This is the total area, A total, V total, equals A1, V1, also A1, V1, also A1, V1. And what about the rule? Equal branches, equal A total, V total, equals N times A1, V1, where N is the number of branches like here I have three branches. Continuity equation. The velocity of fluid in a steady flow at any point is inversely proportional to the cross section area of the tube at that point. V1 over V2 equal A2 over A1 or the relation inverse or between the V V1 over A is direct. So what is the slope here? The slope V over 1 over a, y axis over x axis equal v times a, which equals qv. This is the slope of this graph. Application of continuity equation. The flow of blood is faster in main artery than in blood capillaries. من حكمة ربنا سبحانه وتعالى فكرة الفلو of blood in the main artery and the blood capillaries. ربنا سبحانه وتعالى عمل ايه؟ ربنا سبحانه وتعالى خلى المين ارتري or اورت ارتري and the cross section area of capillaries the total cross section area of these capillaries branches من 
the main artery is larger than larger this area is large the main artery so the flow of blood in capillaries is slow so i can say that as the sum of cross-sectional area of blood capillaries is greater than cross-sectional area of the main artery and since v is inversely proportional to the cross-section area so speed of blood decreases in the blood capillaries to allow exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide gases in the tissue to supply it with food another application design in the gas opening in the stove in designing in the gas opening of the stoves you can notice that as the opening are small so that the gas rushes fast out of it in high speed three thanks to allah as the cross-sectional area of the blood capillaries is larger than the cross-sectional area of the major artery. That طبعا عكس the give reason اللي فات. <coughs> because the area is inversely proportional to the velocity, so the velocity of blood in capillaries is small, and the capillaries will not be affected. Also, the cross-sectional area, CSA, cross-sectional area of the main artery, is greater than that of any blood capillary vessel but the speed of blood flow through capillary is slower than that through the main artery نفس الاجابات تقريبا بس على طول بتبقى جايه دي عكس دي او حاجه because total cross section area blood capillaries is larger than the cross section area of the major artery we have some problems and how to solve problems one a water pipe entering a hose has a diameter of 2 cm and the speed of water is 0.1 m per second. Eventually, if the pipe becomes of diameter 1 cm, calculate speed of water in the narrow portion. This is number A. Again, water pipe has entering the hose has diameter one, uh, 2 cm, so R or R1, 1 cm times 10 bar negative 2 m. And the speed of water, V1, 0.1 meter per second. Eventually, if the pipe becomes of diameter R2, 0.5 times 10 bar negative 2. A, calculate the speed of water in narrow portion, V2. This rule, A1, V1 equals A2, V2. A1 by R1 bar 2, V1 equals by r2 power 2 v2 by cancel those by r1 1 time 10 bar negative 2 all bar 2 times 0.1 equals 0.5 times 10 bar negative 2 all bar 2 times v2 v2 will be by calculations 0.4 meter per second this is number a number b after that the amount volume and the mass of water that flows per minute across any cross section area and the density of water equal 1000 this means that qv equals volume over time equals the av volume equals a1 v1 t equals a1 by r1 bar 2 v1 times t 22 over 7 times 1 times 10 bar negative 2 all bar 2 times 0 0.1 times with six, which is 60 now volume equals by calculation 1.8 8, 6 times 10 bar negative 3 cubic meter. After that, what is mass? Mass equals volume times the density, rho. As density equals mass over volume, 1.886 times 10 bar negative 3 multiplied by 1000. The result will be, I will write it here, mass equals 1.8. 86 kilogram 
In a normal adult, the average speed of the blood through the aorta, radius 0.7 cm, is 0.33 m per second. From the aorta, the blood goes into the major artery, radius of each is 0.35 cm, which are 30 in number. Calculate the speed of the blood through the arteries. يبقى انا عايز اجيبها في الحته الارتز اللي هي الكابيلاريز اللي هي الصغيره طيب نعملها ازاي واحده واحده كده نقراها تاني the average speed of the blood through a water radius means r total equal 0.7 cm time 10 power negative 2 meter is v total 0.33 meter per second from the water the blood goes into the major arteries radius of each one 0.35 cm times 10 power negative 2 which are 30 in number n equals 30 calculate the speed of blood in this arteries v1 our rule is a total v total equals n a1 v1 a total by r total bar 2 v total n by r 1 bar 2 V1 by cancel those by R total 0.7 times 10 bar negative 2 all bar 2 V total 0.33 equals 30 R1 0.35 times 10 bar negative 2 all bar 2 times V1 which is unknown from what from this we can calculate v1 which is 0.044 meter per second in the figure shown uh, the radius of the tube at a equals 30 centimeter at d 15 centimeter at b 10 centimeter at c 8 centimeter calculate the rate of volume flow at a if water enters the tube at a by velocity 2 meter per second then calculate the volume, uh, the velocity of the water flow at C and at D. If the velocity of flow at B equals 16 meter per second. Get the given out. First thing A, B, C, D. By this way. Velocity at A or the radius at A are A equal 30 centimeter 0.3 meter at d rd 15 centimeter 0.15 meter at b 10 0.1 meter at c 8 0.08 meter calculate the rate of volume flow at a qv at a if water enters the tube at A by velocity VA equal 2 meter per second, then calculate the velocity of water at C and D. If the velocity at B equals 16 meter per second. To solve this problem, be attention to me. First thing, QV at A. means area at A, V at A. Area at A, multiply V at A by RA bar 2, VA, 22 over 7, times RA, 0.3 bar 2, multiply 2. The result will be 0.566 meter cube per second. After that, VC. To get VC, QV at this part, QV A equals QV B plus QVC. A A V A A B V B plus AC VC 
في عندي حالين ممكن اقوم حاطط الريزلت اوف كيو اي كيو في اي اللي جبتها قبل كده ممكن اعملها بالباي ار خلينا نشتغلها بالباي ار باي ار اي سكوير في اي باي ار بي سكوير في بي بلس باي ار سي سكوير في سي باي كان بي كانسلد ار اي 0.3 باور 2 في سي ملتبلاي في اي ملتبلاي 2 R B 0.1 power 2 V B 16 plus 0.08 power 2 R C multiplied by V C. This is multiplied and this multiplied and the other side by negative and divided by 0.08 power 2 V C will be 3.125. meter per second it's about vc to get the last unknown we know that qv at a equals qv at d area a va equals area d vd by r a bar 2 va equals by r d bar to v d by cancel those by r a equals 0.3 all bar 2 multiplied by 2 r d 0.15 power 2 v d v d will be 8 meter per second viscosity viscosity What's meant by viscosity? It is a property where resistance or fraction exists between the liquid layers, motion preventing or hindering the easy sliding of this layer. Look at this and look at this other foot. So viscosity means resistance exists between the liquid layers. To understand the viscosity, let us see some experiments. The first experiment, we have some liquid with high viscosity and the other with low uh, viscosity. Again, viscosity means resistance exists between layers. This is called viscosity. Or uh, the liquid with high viscosity, this liquid has high adhering force. Tiny and high adhering force. Look, another, look to another example. The liquid with high viscosity prevent the sliding of the object inside it easily. I think that the object take a longer time in this. This is like what? This is like oil. This, this is like water or alcohol. Next one. Look at this. High viscosity means that the liquid moves with low speed. This is about high viscosity. Another experiment. Which of them is higher in viscosity? Yes, high viscosity. Low viscosity. We just conclude that one, some liquids such as water and alcohol offer a little, offer little resistance to the motion of a body in them and are easy to flow we say that or we say they have low viscosity number two other liquids such as honey and glycerin are not as easy to move through they offer high resistance to body motion and are said to have high in high viscosity liquid and low viscosity liquid high viscosity liquid like honey and oil they have low ability to flow high resistance to body motion to in it and the high adhering force also low viscous liquids high ability to flow low resistance to body motion to in it example water and alcohol factors affecting on viscosity of a liquid eta this symbol eta you can make it by this way eta this symbol again eta this is the symbol of viscosity to understand viscosity now, 
for the factors affecting the viscosity of a liquid. We have two factors. The first one, kind of the fluid. Allah create each liquid or gas fluid with uh, certain viscosity. Temperature. Viscosity decreases by increasing the temperature. Again, viscosity decreases by increasing the temperature. Like honey, honey. If you have honey, in uh, honey, uh, cold honey, uh, hides high resistance. Try to stir a spoon inside a cold honey, and uh, try to stir a spoon on a high temperature honey. Get the honey and heat it, and uh, try to stir the spoon. Stir it easily. And when the honey is cold, try to stir the spoon. It's, the resistance to steering is high, and this is called the viscosity. To explain the concept of viscosity, let us imagine a layer of fluid like this, confined between two parallel plates, this red plate. Two parallel plates, this is the first plate, and the second plate. One of them is at rest, V equals zero, and the other moves with velocity v, you will see this move by velocity v, after that, between two plates the fluid moves, with velocities ranging from 0 up to v. مهم جدا ال experiment ديت عشان تستوعب يعني ايه viscosity عشان نتكلم بصراحة كده تعالوا ناخدها واحدة واحدة. This is the fluid and viscosity means resistance exists between the liquid layers. So I have frictional force here. Frictional force. We have frictional force. Again, we have frictional force. Okay. Look at this. The layer, when the layer is pushed by this way, by force, the layers move by this way. The first layer up moved by velocity v and can move the other side by force of friction. And the, this layer can move the other one and next one and next one by the force of friction until the last plate which will not move as the velocity equals zero. So now what about the, the force? Force, what about the force or to the relative change of velocity is due to? Friction force exists between the lower plate and the liquid layers in contact with it. This force is due to the adhesive force between the molecules of the solid surface and the contacting liquid molecules. This lead to zero velocity of the layer in contact with the stationary plate. The existence of another fraction force between each liquid layers and the adjacent one, which resists the sliding. We can notice that the resistance the first one move can move the other one, and the second can move the second one, the third one, and the third to move the first, and so on. Number two again, the existence of another fraction, force between each liquid layer and the adjacent one, which resists the sliding of the liquid layers with respect to each other. This produces a relative change in velocity between any two adjacent layers. This type of flow is called non turbulent viscous laminar flow or viscous steady flow since no vortices occurs no vortices هو حاجة ما بين steady flow و turbulent flow but viscous steady flow steady flow أصلا non viscous لكن ده viscous يعني في adhering force زي ما انت شفتوا layer بتتفهم كده بسهولة ان هي بتبقى عندها friction مع layer اللي تحتيها factors affecting دي اللي مهمة شوية factors affecting frictional force between liquid layers if change, uh, direct proportional to change in uh, velocity between the blades, number two, the friction force F, direct proportional to area, or friction inverse proportional to the distance. So I can write F, direct proportional to E, with direct proportional to change in velocity, inverse proportional to distance. Proportional sign can be replaced by equal constant, which is Eta Vs, eta viscosity, which eta is called the coefficient of viscosity, eta coefficient of viscosity, which equal Fd over A delta V. 
coefficient of viscosity eta, it is the tangential force acting on unit area, resulting in unit velocity difference between two liquid layers separated by unit distance apart. Measuring unit of coefficient of viscosity, Newton dot second per meter square, kilogram per meter dot second, the last one, joule dot second per cubic meter. Give reason for when the viscosity of a fluid increases, its resistance to a solid body motion through it increases because of large friction force between the layers of the fluid with each other and with motion of a solid body in it. Application of viscosity Lubrication Metallic parts in machine have to lubricate it. From time to time, this process leads to reduction of heat generated by friction, protecting the machine parts from corrosion. Give reason, oils of high viscosity are used in lubricating the movable metallic machine parts. As they adhere with the machine parts, so reduce the friction between metal parts and reduce the heat produced. Then protect them from wearing and corrosion. Axis salt ribbon water is not used in lubricating metallic machines because if we use water low viscosity it will rapidly flow away from the machine parts or as a result of weak adhesive forces during its motion and it will not protect machine parts moving vehicles this is number two when a car attains its maximum speed the total work done by the machine which is supplied by pernet fuel acts most of the time against the air resistance. Air resistance I be prevent the motion or the high speed of the car and the force of friction between tires and the road. In this case, operatively small or intermediate speed, the air resistance to move bodies resulting from air viscosity is directly proportional to the velocity. This is at small or intermediate speed. What about at high speed when the speed of the car increases? The air resistance is proportional to square of the resistance, the square of the velocity. Resistance of air, direct proportional to square of the velocity, leading to noticeable increase in the full consumption. Therefore, it is advisable not to exceed such a limit 80 to 90 km. وبالتالي احنا المفروض كده ما نسرعش عشان نحاول نوفر في البنزين فبقى تمشي بسرعة سالك بنزين أكتر في جفريزون مهمة على الحتة دي اه جفريزون the well expert driver does not increase the car speed more than a certain limit to economize the fuel consumption because at high speed the air resistance is direct proportional to square of the velocity not the velocity square leading to increase of the fuel consumption Three, medicine. When a ball undergoes free fall in a liquid, it is under three factors or three forces. Its weight, buoyancy of the liquid, and the friction between the ball. To understand this, if I have a blood in test tube, what about the red blood cells? Red blood cells, when it moves, are BCs affected by three uh, forces. The first force, which is the weight downward, and another force, which is called the buoyancy of the liquid. Look at this. We have weight, points of the liquid, and the friction between the pole and the liquid due to viscosity. It is found that such a pole attains the final velocity, which is proportional to its radius. This is applied in medicine by taking a blood sample measuring pers uh, its precipitation rate. The doctor may then decide if the size of the red blood cells is normal or not. Rheumatic fever and the gout. Red blood cells adhere together so they vo their volume and radius increases and accordingly sedimentation precipitation rate increases. يعني حضرتك لما بتيجي تعمل تحليب blood بيبتدي يشوف red blood cells فانت في حالة ال rheumatic fever او الجاوت red blood cells كسايز بيكون كبير جدا وبالتالي بيكون عندها final speed high final speed
يبقى ريد زاد وهاي فاينل سبيد سو هاي سيدمنتيشن ريت سيدمنتيشن ريت اللي هو الاس ار او بيسموه بالعربي سرعه الترسيب فبتنزل بسرعه شديده جدا فيبتدي وطبعا ده اعلى من النورمال مور ذان ذا نورمال سو ذا دكتور كان سي كان سي ذات يو هاف ريماتيك فيفر اور جاوت اكوردنج تو ذا سيمبتومز نيكست وان انيميا Red blood cells are broken off, reducing in volume and the radius, uh, reducing volume and the radius, so sedimentation rate decreases below its normal. Look at this. Small red blood cells. So the final speed will be low speed, more, less than the normal. So the uh, doctor may say that you have or infected by anemia. Give reason. It is possible for a doctor to know some diseases throughout the measurement of the blood sedimentation rate as the final velocity of red blood cells corpuscles, red blood cells means red blood corpuscles, is directly proportional to the radius of it. The sedimentation rate of blood in case of rheumatic fever increases while, the, while in case of anemia it decreases. In case of rheumatic fever, Red blood corpuscles stick together, adhere together, so the radius will increase, and then final velocity sedimentation rate increases. In case of anemia, red blood cells or red blood corpuscles are broken, so the radius will decrease, and final velocity sedimentation rate decreases. Three, if uh, a solid body moves in fluid, it loses a part of its uh, momentum. This is due to the viscosity fraction. The fluid affects the motion of a solid body inside it and decreases the velocity and since momentum equal mass times the velocity. Therefore, as the velocity decreases, momentum decreases. Another give reason. High sense plant, my rose high sense plant, where the meal present near the sides of drains and not at the middle. At the middle of the river, high speed. At the side, high fraction force, low speed. Look at this answer. Because the speed of water at the middle of rivers is higher than that at the side due to fraction at the side. Problems. Two square shaped flat surface plate of area A equals 20 times 10 power negative 4. Oil film of thickness 10 centimeter D. 10 times 10 power negative 2. Between them, if a force, F equals 4 Newton, act on the upper plate, it moves by velocity, V equals 20 meter per second. Calculate the coefficient of viscosity. Eta, Vs. Eta, Vs equals F, D over A, delta V, F4, D, 10 times 10 power negative 2, A, 20 times 10 power negative 4, delta V, 20, by calculations, kilogram per meter dot second. Number 2. If a force of 10 Newton acted on the upper plate to move in a speed 3 meter per second, calculate the viscosity coefficient of the liquid look at the following figure you can calculate the area 20 times 40 times 10 power negative 4 meter square b 3 meter per second d the distance between the two plates 5 centimeter 5 times 10 power negative 2 meter we have force f equals 10 Newton, calculate the coefficient of viscosity or viscosity coefficient, eta Vs equals F dot D over A delta V, and this is delta V, F 10 D 5 times 10 power negative 2 over A 20 times 40 times 10 power negative 4 times Delta V, which is 3. The result will be 2.083 kilogram per meter dot second. 
3. A layer of viscous, of a viscous liquid of thickness 6 cm exists between two large parallel plates. If its coefficient of viscosity 0.8 kg per meter per second finds the force required to move a thin plate of area 0.5 meter with velocity 2 meter per second parallel to the two plates and apart from one of them by 2 cm. Again, we will draw, shoot to draw to understand. This is the two layers. Thickness between them 6 cm. Two large parallel plates. Its coefficient of viscosity, eta, equals 0.8 kg per meter per second. Find the force required. The force required to move a thin plate of area. This is the area. 0.5 meter square with velocity v, 2 meter per second will be delta v, parallel to the two plates and apart from one of them by two. Centimeter. This is the plate. This is two centimeter. So the other part four centimeter. I can solve this as a two problems. First thing, a will get the force of the first one and the force of the second one. F one, F one here. F2. F1 equals eta multiply A delta V over D. Eta 0.8 times 0.4 times 2 over D. 2 times 10 power negative 2 will be 40. Newton. F2 Eta A delta V over D. Eta 0 0.8, 0.5 area, velocity 2, but the distance will be 4 times 10 by negative 2. F2 will be 20 Newton. F total equal F1 plus F2 equals 40 plus 20 equals 60 Newton. What about number B? The pressure due to this force, which acts on simply any force according to viscosity, pressure equals zero. We'll study this part in the second term.